Welcome to the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. We have an exciting American League football matchup for you today between the visiting Boston Patriots and the Texans of Dallas. This game is important to both teams. In the Eastern Division, three teams are within a half a game of one another. The New York Titans are 3-3, three and three, the Buffalo Bills are 3-4, and four, and Boston is in the middle at 3-3-1. Three, three and one. The Patriots really need this one to keep pace with the Titans and don't want to risk falling further behind. The Texans, on the other hand, are in a much tougher spot in the Western Division. They trailed the 7-0 Chargers with a 3-3 three three record, and they can't afford to fall further behind if they are to have any hope of making the playoffs. Now let's give you the starting lineups. On defense for the Patriots, we have Larry Eisenhower and Bob Dia at the ends, Jim Hunt and Leroy Moore at tackle, the middle linebacker is Frank Rabati, and he will be flanked by Rami Loud and Tom Addison. In the secondary at corner will be Walter Beach and Chuck Shonta, with uh, Ron Hall and Fred Bruni at the safety. The Texans offensive backfield will include quarterback Cotton Davis with Bo Dickinson and Abner Haynes at running back. The wide receivers are Chris Burford and Johnny Robinson with Max Boyston at the tight end position. Along the offensive line, it will be John Gilliam at center, with Billy Krischer and Al Reynolds at the guards, with Jerry Cornelson and Jim Tyrer at tackle. Well, we are ready to get underway. It's a beautiful day for football. We are ready to go. The Texans are moving from our right to left. The ball is spotted on the Boston 33-yard line. It is second down and six yards to go. There is under 13 minutes to play with the clock running. The Texans come out of the huddle. The backs behind quarterback Cotton Davidson are 28 Abner Haynes and 32 Bo Dickinson in the pro set. Tied in Max Boyston is set off the tackle on the near side. Wide receiver Chris Burford is set wide on the near side. The wide receiver Johnny Robinson is wide on the far side. Davidson is calling his signal. He fakes the pitch to Dickinson, hands off to Haynes over the right side to the Boston 21 for a six yard gain. The tackle is by defensive end Bob D. It will be first and 10 from the Boston 21. Now the end Bob D lines up on the outside as the outside linebacker. And left guard Al Reynolds pulls and gets enough of D to allow Haynes to slip inside of him for the six yard gain. And it's first and 10 from the Boston 21. Cotton Davidson is under center. He's waiting for the snap. Davidson hands off to Abner Haynes over the left side, but for no gain. The tackle by defensive tackle Jim Hunt and middle linebacker Frank Rabati. A great inside move by Jim Hunt. He follows the pulling guard Al Reynolds and tackle Jim Tyre couldn't get over quick enough to block him. And he caught Abner Haynes from behind before he could hit the hole. And it will be second down and 10 yards to go. Hunt, like so many players, was drafted by both leagues. The NFL Bears took him in the 16th round in last year's draft, but he decided to sign with the Patriots. His nickname is Earthquake. They say you can feel the ground rumbling when he rushes the passer. Davison drops straight back. He throws down the middle. It's caught by Max Boydston at the Boston 11 for 10 yards. A tackle by safety Fred Bruni. It's enough for the first down. Boydston runs a simple down and in. The timing was perfect and the coverage was right there as Bruni hits Boydson as the ball arrives, but he holds on to the ball for the first down. Cotton Davidson was originally a first round draft choice by the Baltimore Colts in the NFL. With the ball on the 11 yard line, it is first and 10. Abner Haynes and Bo Dickinson are behind the quarterback in the pro set. On the far side, Johnny Robinson is set wide. On the near side, it's Chris Burford also set wide. Cotton hands off to Abner Haynes running wide right. He is hit in the backfield, breaks free. He's down to the Boston 10 for only a yard. The tackle is by middle linebacker Frank Robotti. Both the guards, Caldwell and Reynolds, pull, but the defensive line blows through. An initial hit is made by Jim Hunt. He makes it in the backfield, but he can't bring Haynes down. Then both Dick Klein and Leroy Moore miss the tackle. But finally, Robotti, along with Addison and others, bring him down for a short gain. It is second down and nine yards to go. Uh, outside linebacker Tom Addison is the second year man from South Carolina, and middle linebacker Frank Rabati is the rookie out of Boston College starting today in place of the injured Cheryl Hedrick. It is second and nine from the Boston 10. Haynes and Dickinson are in the backfield. Robinson is set wide on the far side, and Burford is set wide on the near side. 
Davison drops straight back. He throws to Burford on the post pattern, but it's incomplete. Defending on the play was Chuck Shonta. Haynes and Dickinson stayed in the backfield to block for Cotton, but he was pressured by Rami Lau, the outside linebacker, and he had to throw early. He was off target, and now it is third and nine. Outside linebacker Rami Lau was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers in the 26th round in the 56th NFL draft, but instead he signed with the BC Lions of the Canadian Football League. After being cut by Chicago, Chicago Bears in 15. In 59, Lau joined the AFL last year with the Chargers, and after being released to the Chargers, he was picked up by the Boston Patriots. The Texans are now facing third and ten from the Boston 10. Davidson is under center with Haynes and Dickinson in the backfield. Boyson lines up on the right. Johnny Robinson sets wide on the far side, and Chris Burford sets wide on the near side. Davidson is under pressure, throws to the middle. Touchdown, Boydston! The Texans take the lead for the first time in the game. The outside linebacker, Rami Loud, was on the blitz and was not picked up, but Davidson got the pass off to the tight end who ran straight up the middle to the goal line, turned in, and the ball was right there, and there was nothing uh, safety Fred Bruni could do at that point. And the Texans now lead 9-7 pending the extra point. Ben Agajanian lines up for the extra point, waiting for the snap. The ball is down, the kick is up, and it is good. With 8.36 left in the third quarter, there is a timeout on the field with the score, Patriots 7, Texans 10. It was first and 10 from the Dallas 12-yard line. Cotton Davidson is under center with Bo Dickinson directly behind him and Abner Haynes set off to the left. Davidson tosses left to Abner Haynes as the guards pull, and Haynes gets to the Dallas 14-yard line, and the tackle is by... Uh, safety Ron Hall. The guards Reynolds and Kirshner lead the way around the left side, but cornerback Chuck Shonta refuses to be blocked and jams the play at the point of attack, forcing Haynes to turn in where he is met by safety Ron Hall and company. Cornerback Chuck Shonta is a second year man from Eastern Michigan. He was drafted by the Patriots and won the starting job in training camp last year. He worked hard against intense competition and has held the job ever since and I think he's going to be around for a long time to come. It is second down and eight. Davidson is under center with Dickinson directly behind him and Haynes set to the left. Robinson setting wide on the far side and Burford sets wide on the near side. Cotton hands off to Dickinson up the middle to about the Dallas 15 and the tackle is by Jim Hunt for maybe a yard. Now the guard, Al Reynolds, pulled and did not block Jim Hunt but uh, the throw was going to the left of the defense, but Hunt did not take the bait to follow Reynolds and instead stayed home and stuffed Dickinson in the hole. It is now third down and seven yards to go for the first down. Davidson is under center with Haynes and Dickinson in the pro set. Boyson lines up tight on the far side along with Robinson set wide on the far side. Davidson drops straight back. He throws to the near side to Luther Geralds at the Dallas 26, but the pass is low and incomplete. Now, outside linebacker Rama Loud was on the blitz and applied pressure to Cotton Davidson, causing his throw to be off, to be low in a way. It is fourth down, and Dallas will have to punt. The Boston defense did a great job on this series, and their offense should get the ball in great field position. Quarterback Cotton Davidson is under center with Haynes and Dickinson in the pro set. The tight end boy Sting lines up from the far side with Robinson set wide, and Burford sets wide on the near side. Davidson hands off to Abner Haynes over the right side to the Boston 41 for a game of three yards. The tackle is by defensive end Larry Eisenhower and safety Ron Hall. That will make it second and seven yards to go. Now, Larry Eisenhower was lined up on the right side of the defense and nobody blocked him because the play was going the other way away from him. He did a good job of following down the line of scrimmage until he caught up with Haynes. After he was slowed down by Eisenhower's teammates, he along with safety Ron Hall come up and finish him off. Now Eisenhower is the rookie out of Boston College. He's a big man, 6'5", weighing in at 250 pounds. Once again, Haynes and Dickinson are in the pro set. Robinson is set wide on the far side and Burford sets wide on the near side. Davidson on a three-step drop. He throws out to the left and Burford catches the ball at the Boston 33. And the tackle was made by Chuck Schoenta at the Boston 31 for a 10-yard gain and a first down. Shunta was playing off of Burford, giving him a 5-yard cushion to the outside. This gave Cotton an unobstructed field of view to make the throw. 
Bertford just runs a nine yard down the field and turns around and the ball is there. Jones is there to make the tackle but was in no position to stop the completion. Burford is in his second year as a pro. He played his college ball at Stanford and was drafted in both leagues. The NFL Cleveland Browns took him in the ninth round and the Texans made him their third round pick. We're back. Cotton Davidson is under center with Abner Haynes and Bo Dickinson in the pro set. Max Boyson lines up tight on the far side with Johnny Robinson wide on the far side. Chris Burford sets wide on the near side. Davison tosses to his left to Abner Haynes. He has blockers in front of him and he gets down to the Boston 28 and the tackle is made by Larry Eisenhower. They spot the ball there and it will be second and seven. Charlie Diamond and Al Reynolds both pulled to lead the way for Haynes, but Larry Eisenhower fights through the Al Reynolds block and trips up Haynes for a very short game. Charlie Diamond is a second year player for Michigan. Last year he played in all 14 games for the Texans, starting in four of them. Once again, it's Haynes and Dickinson in the pro set. Max Boyston lines up tight on the far side and Johnny Robinson is wide on the far side. Chris Burford sets wide on the near side. Davidson, play fake to Bo Dickinson. Bootlegs to his right. He looks like he wants to throw. He is cornered at the 31 by outside linebacker Rummy Loud who makes the tackle at the 31 for a three yard loss. It is now third and 10. John Gilliam lost his helmet on the play. I think this was supposed to be a pass play as Cotton rolls to his right. He also retreats further and further toward his own goal line. Abner Haynes circles left out of the backfield and was open down the middle, but Davidson didn't see him, so he had to run for it, and linebacker Ronnie Loud, who came in on the blitz, he saw the fake and realized Dickinson didn't have the ball, so he chases Cotton down until he catches him for the sack. Loud played for the Chargers last year and played in all 14 games and started five of them, and he also picked off three passes. And that is the end of the third quarter with the score, Texans 10 and Patriots 7. And we are ready to get the fourth quarter underway. Quarterback Cotton Davidson is under center with Bo Dickinson directly behind him and Abner Haynes set to the left. Cotton Davidson drops straight back. He throws a swing pass to Dickinson. It hits him in the back and falls incomplete. That will bring up a fourth down and the Dallas field goal unit comes on the field. Davidson was being pressured by outside linebacker Rami Loud and had to throw before he wanted to and Dickinson apparently didn't see the blitz and wasn't looking for the ball. Bo Dickinson was originally drafted by the Chicago Bears in 1957 and was signed by the Texans last year. He played his college ball at Southern Miss. Cotton Davidson is under center with Bo Dickinson and Abner Haynes in the pro set. Boydston is on the near side along with Johnny Robinson because Burford sits wide on the far side. Davidson drops straight back to pass. Good protection. He throws downfield to Johnny Robinson at the Dallas 35 and he's out of bounds by Bob Soltis and it will be a first down. Soltis gave Robinson too big of a cushion. He must have been afraid of getting beat deep and Robinson ran it down and out at the 35 and there was nothing Soltis could do but make sure he went out of bounds. Johnny Robinson is the second year man out of LSU and was part of their 1958 national championship team. He was also a first round pick in both leagues taken by the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Texans. Davidson is under center with Dickinson directly behind him and Haynes set to his left. Burford is set wide on the far side and Johnny Robinson is set wide on the near side. Davidson drops back. He gives to Haynes on the draw up the middle. He picks up eight yards to about the 43. The tackle by Larry Eisenhower and Frank Rabati. Middle linebacker Frank Rabati initially follows the flow to the defensive right which gives the center E.J. Holbert an opportunity to get in position to block him but Rabati manages to shed the block and make the tackle limiting Haynes to a seven yard gain and it'll be second down and three coming up at the Dallas 42. Now the center 55 E.J. Holbert is a rookie from Lubbock, Texas. He played his college ball at Texas Tech and he was drafted in the second round of the NFL draft by the Dallas Cowboys and in the first round in the AFL draft by the Texans. Davidson is under center with Bo Dickinson behind him. This time Haynes is to his right. Boyson lines up tight on the far side along with uh, Chris Burford who is set wide. John Robinson is set wide on the near side. Davidson fakes the give up the middle to Dickinson. Hands off to Abner Haynes over the left side. He's down to the Dallas 49 for a gain of seven yards and a first down. And the tackle is made by the defensive tackle Houston Antwine and the defensive end Bob D. The defensive right side was just pushed out of the way by tackle Jim Tyre and the guard Al Reynolds. Haynes was about five yards downfield before anyone could hit him. 
Uh, offensive tackle Jim Tyrer is a first-year player from Ohio State. He was the 14th round draft pick in the NFL draft and taken by the Texans in the third round of the AFL draft. Tom Davidson is under center with Bo Dickinson behind him and Abner Haynes to his left. Robinson sets wide to the near side and Burford sets wide to the far side. Davidson fakes the give to Dickinson. He throws the swing pass to Abner Haynes. He drifts back towards the middle and the tackle is by Fred Bruni at the Boston 26 for a 25-yard gain and a first down. There was good blocking at the point of attack on the left side by the Texas line. Haynes gets outside and goes untouched until he reaches the Boston 35, but linebacker Frank Labotti and defensive tackle Leroy Moore failed to wrap him up, and safety Fred Bruni grabs his leg and hangs on for the tackle. Abner Haynes last season rushed for 875 yards and 9 TDs, averaging 5.6 yards per carry, and had an additional 3 TDs and 567 yards uh, as a receiver. Davidson is under center with both Dickinson behind him and Johnny Robinson in the backfield to his right. Boykston lines up tight on the far side with Chris Burford also on the far side and is set wide. Abner Haynes is set wide on the near side. Davidson fakes to give to Bo Dickinson, hands off to Johnny Robinson over the left side, and he is taken down by the two safeties, Ron Hall and Fred Brunet, at the Boston 24. It's just a two-yard gain and brings up a second and eight. The play started out well as Robinson pops through the hole between the left tackle and the guard, but the safeties were there to greet him, and they wrap him up there. Fred Bruni is a seven-year pro who played for the San Francisco 49ers, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Los Angeles Rams in the NFL before coming to the Patriots last year. Davidson is under center with Robinson and Dickinson in the pro set. The tight end lines up on the near side with Abner Haynes set wide. Chris Burford sets wide on the far side. Davidson drops straight back. Good protection. He throws left to Chris Burford on the slant at the Boston 13. He gets away from Shonta and Ron Hall, and he's in for the touchdown. As Cotton drops back, Bob Klein gets, gets by uh, the left guard, 60 Al Reynolds, but Reynolds slows him up enough for Cotton to get the ball away, and it's thrown perfectly between the two defenders, Shonta and Ron Hall to take each other out of the play, and Burford is gone, touchdown. Chris Burford, last season, he had 789 receiving yards and five touchdowns. The score is now Boston 7 and Dallas 16 as we await the try for point. Waiting for the snap, here it is, the ball is down, the kick is up, and it's good. With 4.57 left in the game, the Texans lead the Patriots 17-7. There's a timeout on the field. Cotton Davidson is under center with Abner Haynes and Bo Dickinson in the pro set. On the near side, we have Max Boyston who lines up tight along with Johnny Robinson offset wide. Chris Burford sets wide on the far side. Cotton Davidson hands off to Abner Haynes on the sweep left, but he goes nowhere to the Dallas 10 for a two-yard loss. The tackle is by Dick Klein and Chuck Chante and Larry Eisenhower. This will bring up a second down and 12. Outside linebacker Rami Loud is blitzing and jams the whole thing up by taking out two blockers, and then Dick Klein is the first to hit Haynes, and then Eisenhower and Shantae take him down. Now Eisenhower, whose nickname is Wildman, is a first-year player taken by Boston in the sixth round of the AFL draft. He's a regional hometown hero from Minnanola, New York, and then played college ball at Boston College, and now in the pros with the Patriots. Davidson is under center with Bo Dickinson directly behind him and Abner Haynes is set to his left. Davidson gives to Abner Haynes running wide right. He cuts up field to the Dallas 13 and the tackle is by outside linebacker Rummy Loud and defensive tackle Jim Hunt. It is now third down and nine yards to go for the first. Now middle linebacker Frank Rabati gets penetration which forces Haynes deeper into the backfield and then defensive end Bob D streams the play out and safety Fred Brunet runs up strong and seals the outside, forcing Haynes back to the middle where the pursuit catches up with him. Now Bob D was originally a 1955 ninth round draft choice of the NFL Redskins and came to the Patriots last year as a free agent. Davidson is under center with Bo Dickinson and Abner Haynes in the pro set. On the near side, Mac Boyston lines up tight with Johnny Robinson offset wide. Chris Burford sets up wide on the far side. Davison drops back to throw. Throws in the middle to tight end. It's incomplete. 
Defending on the play was safety Fred Brunet, and that will bring up a fourth down, and the Texans will have to punt. It appeared Boyston was open at the Dallas 25, but safety Brunet jumped in front of Boyston at the last second and knocked the ball away. So it's fourth down and nine yards to go. Cotton Davidson will stay in the game to handle the punting chores. Davidson played 12 games last year and threw for 2,400 yards, 15 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. And that is the end of the game. The Patriots win with a final score of Boston 18, Dallas 17. Just a quick recap of the scoring. The Patriots scored first in the second quarter on a Don Webb 40 yard fumble return and they led 7 to nothing. The Texans also scored in the second quarter on a 25 yard field goal by Ben Agagenian. Then, in the third quarter, the Texans scored on a 10-yard pass from Cotton Davidson to Max Boydston, and the Texans led 10-7. Then, later in the fourth quarter, the Texans scored on a 24-yard pass from Davidson to Chris Burford and increased their lead from 17-7. But the Patriots came back and cut the Texan lead down to 17-15 on a four-yard pass from Butch Songin to Joe Johnson and a two-point conversion. Then near the end of the game, uh, the Patriots scored the game-winning field goal on a 25-yarder by Gino Capaletti. And our final statistics, Boston led in first down, 17 for the Patriots, 16 for the Texans. In yards rushing, again, the Boston Patriots had the lead uh, in that category, 144 yards to 67 yards. Total yards passing, pretty well even, 168 for Boston and 169 for the Texans. Total yards, uh, Boston led in that category, 312 to 236. There were three turnovers total, two by the Patriots and one by the Texans. We hope you have enjoyed the game with the Patriots coming out on top 18 to 17.